watching Patrick Parson Workshop. Good morning, everybody. Beautiful day here in North Carolina, and I've got a job that I've been meaning to get to, and actually part of the problem and the reason why this has happened is because I didn't paint it right after we had these doors put in. That's been a couple years ago. So need to go ahead and patch this up and go ahead and paint the whole thing. Uh, so that's my project for today. It's gonna take me about half a day to do this. The great news is the Bondo that I'm gonna use to patch this up actually dries very, very quickly. So it'll dry and I can sand it and get to painting real quickly. So I can put a couple of coats of paint on this and get it all done in a short period of time. So it's about a half a day job. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and open up this Bondo. And this is the same Bondo that you would use for auto body. Let's go ahead and open this up. Now this has got a very strong smell. Make sure you've got good ventilation I'm outside. Mix this up just a little bit in here. About that much should be all I need. So one thing that I do want to do is, right, all of the wood that is actually rotted, go ahead and get that out. I haven't mixed my Bondo yet, so I'm good there. I will get it over here out of the way so it doesn't get any wood in it. A lot of this rotten wood here. I do want to make sure that we're attaching to good wood here. Alright, so I'm going to take this brush. Now, I'm going to go ahead and bring back the Bondo over here that I had already laid out. Alright, I think you can see that now. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bead of this hardener out here. Alright, so I'm going to mix that together. And when I do, it's going to harden up really quick. So I'm going to have to be very speedy in putting some in here. It's going to be ugly at first, so I'm not going to fill this whole thing up. There's a lot of material to replace there, so it's going to take a couple of times. Once it all gets to be kind of that light pink color, you're ready to start spreading it in there. Let me start doing that. This has got a nice consistency here. Don't worry if you're a little bit messy. Uh, do get it all the way back into the back there. This is just your first coat. But you do want to get it all the way back to the back. And I'm going to let that dry and it's going to dry pretty quick. All right, so this Bondo is dry now, so I'm just going to go ahead and sand it here just a little bit. I'm not going to go too crazy. This is a sanding block that I'm using because I want to make sure this side over here is flat. And when this dries, it's kind of like sanding drywall mud a little bit. A little bit harder. Very sandable though. I don't do this all the time so I'm maybe a little bit sloppier than you would be here all right and that looks pretty good and it's ready for another coat and before I give that another coat I'm gonna vacuum up that dust a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead with a little strip of the hardener out here That is looking good. I'll start working that up into there. So 
and you'll see how it's filling even more of that cavity now. It's one of those things, kind of like putting a bead of caulk down that if you haven't done it for a while, you're not going to be good at it. But, got something that needs to be done, got to go for it, right? And you learn as you go, which is a good thing. All right, now we'll let that dry. You have been watching the Patrick Parson Workshop, which we hope you have found informative. In the comments section below, please share your thoughts, questions, and any ideas you may want us to address in the future. Also, why not consider subscribing to the channel, as every week we will have something new for you, and we would surely hate for you to miss it. As always, thanks for watching Patrick Parson Workshop.